In this video, I'm going to be soldering together the dragonfly, which is this PCB. To do that, I'm going to need a set of tweezers, solder, a soldering iron, a power supply that's between 3.3 and 5 volts, 20 LEDs, in this case these are white and these are pink, 5 resistors, 1 capacitor, and an ATtiny 13A. So let's start with the LEDs. So to start with, I place a small amount of solder on one side of each pad pair. Okay, and once I have a little bit of solder on each side, I take the first set of LEDs, which in this case are white, and I'm gonna be putting them on the body. And I just open up the strip of LEDs, set them on the table, and then I check which orientation they have. So if you look at each LED on the back, there's a small T and there's a small T on the PCB and this T and this T have to match with the T shape sort of kissing. So then I rotate this and I remelt the solder and I place the LED and then I let go and I pick up the LED to make sure I have a good connection. Once I have one side of each of those white LEDs soldered, I go ahead and I solder the other side to the board. Okay, and now I add the pink LEDs.
And again, with these LEDs, I make sure that the mark on this side of the PCB or the LED matches the mark here. And then I just go ahead and I solder it onto the board. And then I just pick it up and I check to make sure none of the LEDs are tombstoning. And one of them is not attached. Now, I just go ahead and solder the other side of each LED. Okay, and now that all the LEDs are done, I flip it over and I put on the microcontroller and I start by soldering one pin and I note that this is the side with the star on it and also this white line at the top is much longer so I know that that's pin one. If I look at the microcontroller pin one is noted by a small notch on the black part of the package and there's also a triangle So I set this on there, and then I check to make sure the pins are aligned, and in this case they're not. So I need to readjust this. Check alignment, need to readjust it. So that's well enough aligned that it'll work. Then I go ahead and I solder one pin on this side, and then I solder one pin on this side. And this allows me to be more of a perfectionist about the solder without unsoldering this pin, which was the first one that was holding it on. And then I solder the middle ones. So I just check and I note that all of these pins have a good connection and all of these pins have a good connection. So then I add the capacitor.
And then I solder the resistors. And then when I'm done setting them all on there, I just solder the other side. And then I pretend the antenna, which is actually where the power goes. And I take these wires and I also pretend them. On these battery packs, the red wire is 5 volts, well, 4.5 volts, and the black wire is ground. And on this um, dragonfly, this side is five volts and this side is ground. So I just melt the solder that I already placed on there and attach the wire. And I remelt the other side. And then I check that they're stuck on there. Once we have all of the components soldered on the dragonfly, we turn it on and all of the LEDs should light up and then slowly fade off and then begin blinking randomly. And then we're done. <laughs>